Here comes the brill. Wobble wobble. <laughs> <laughs> Well, are we in? Are we in frame? I mean, we better be. Yeah, at this point. <laughs> this, you know. Oh, it's a beautiful. Hi, everyone. Hello. I forgot you were there. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, what were we talking about? We we're going to talk about timing today. Mm -hmm. Divine timing. Because, you know, last week we did the final countdown. That's kind of like the final, final countdown. Which, by the way, it wasn't final, final, so I guess... Right, well, that's why this is exactly... Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't the final countdown. But we did have a few days of... Of thinking that it thinking was the final countdown? Thinking that it was coming because I experienced uh, almost two days, two and a half days. Really 24 hours of consistent, manageable, but contractions mm -hmm. and... Then they went away because apparently that happens sometimes. But there was like two and a half days there. There's so much that we don't know that we think and give for granted. And also because I also have been like very low and for the past two weeks at this point, two weeks ago, everyone started saying, oh, within two weeks, within two weeks, within two weeks, even though I'm technically between my 38th and 39th week now. We even had like a woman shaman approach to us yeah out of nowhere and also saying the same so we thought that the universe was telling us that it was coming in two weeks right and then here we are two weeks later so apparently the universe was just well joking. actually technically <laughs> monday is two weeks okay, so, so monday is two weeks from when everyone was like two weeks two weeks and we're talking doctors and this shaman lady who had 15 brothers and sisters, 43 nieces and nephews and 75 grandkids within the family and she's like Two weeks. Here. We assumed two, two she weeks. was an expert. Apparently, yeah. she wasn't. So <laughs> you know, like, and then and then we had those days of like, oh, these are consistent contractions. They were manageable, but not exactly like the most happy, comfortable feeling. I mean, we have some very funny video of me because I was. Uh... And pictures, if you want them to upload, <laughs> just <laughs> subscribe. No, <I'm> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not being shown to anyone. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, it was, you know, but then it of course makes us think of timing because for both of us in our lives, it was always like, oh yeah, yeah, by the time that we're 18, this is going to happen. By the time we're 21, this is going to happen. You know, constantly putting these limitations of time on ourselves, which in many cases is A, an unnecessary pressure, mm -hmm. B, rarely ever... The things that you want to happen, like within that time, never happen in that time. And then at the same time, when you don't expect things to happen, you're like, oh, you know what, it would be cool if so-and-so called me, you know, today. Or like you're thinking about someone and then all of a sudden that happens. So it's mm -hmm. this interesting dichotomy of... You cannot force it. Right. Because then it just doesn't happen. And then it becomes a story of you're forcing it, therefore it's not going to happen. Right. Or you really, really... Even the idea of like really wanting it, like that is creating an unnecessary stress and an unnecessary pressure towards wanting something to happen and then it doesn't happen and you either, I mean, I know that you've spoken about this, like you don't ever want us to think about those things because then you mm -hmm. feel like a sense of disappointment. Yeah. And in No, it's also because then when you create an expectation and then you don't fulfill that expectation, then you start to feel frustrated. I keep talking about that example of the Israeli army that well, tell, was, tell was, the example, there, my there was, dear. Tell the example. There was two it's groups. in the holographic universe yeah. by Michael Talbot, which is a series mm -hmm. of. Sorry. So why don't you tell it? Oh, no, no, you're gonna tell it, <laughs> but I'm gonna set it up. Let me just set it up. Okay. So it's in the holographic universe. It's a series of um, science and research that is not necessarily ex explicable by science and research. It's all of these different tests and studies mm -hmm. that lead more into the idea that we live in this holographic universe. That it's all about what you create and it's a story. And in this example, there was two groups. One of the groups was going to run, the, both of the groups were told that they were going to run uh, 60 mile, but no, sorry, 40 mile. But uh, one of the groups actually ran 60 mile and the other one 20 mile. And the group that was expecting to do only 40, but did more, they, were, they felt much better. But the, the group that was supposed to run 20 miles, but then they ran 40, I just fucked up the example. Yeah. That's why I normally she tells that. 
<laughs> Basically, I was trying to explain. The point is that if you create an expectation and you think you're gonna do something, but then it's less, normally you feel better. But when it's more than what you expected, then it starts to become heavy and it's difficult to manage. So we're trying to avoid that kind of uh, feeling. Right, and yet at the same time, that was kind of the story. Like, hey, I mean, yeah, I, <laughs> we're gonna. If you didn't get it, just rewind it. Google, and read, back, uh, read the book, and then we can talk about read it. Read the book and Google that experiment. But essentially, it's the idea of <laughs> of setting your mind to something and expecting a certain result, and most of the time. Mm -hmm. Even if you, and then they did other studies in that, in that book, there are other studies, for example, where even just the idea of doing something or the imagination or the imagining of doing something, the body responded mm -hmm. as if that was happening. And there's a lot of research now coming out about all of that, that there really is no difference in the mind between what is actually happening and what you are imagining, what which is creating. happening. Yes. And then you can take it even a step further and say that worrying, for example, is just a negative imagination of what you don't want to happen essentially, whereas visualizing or like thinking about your future in a positive way and imagining it and visualizing mm -hmm. it is that same mechanism. You're just using it for something that feels mm -hmm. a little bit better. Yeah. Which uh, we try to do all the time. Which, with that say, the point being about the timing and the expectation is, don't ever, well, don't ever do whatever you want. But <laughs> okay. but we try not to put times and limits because otherwise we start to right. feel frustrated. And at the same time, hey, hey, and at the same time, be in the energy of expecting. It's beyond expecting it. It's kind of mm -hmm. like knowing that it'll happen. Like being in the energy that it has already happened because another thing that they're showing these days, <laughs> these days in modern science and research and quantum physics and such is that... I'm going to cut that voice. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> what they're also showing in quantum physics and to be a little bit more sincere <laughs> is that when you act it or you are it energetically, vibrationally, there's no other way based on the laws of the universe except for that to occur. But again, maybe tomorrow, maybe next week, mm -hmm. maybe two weeks, maybe two years, maybe 20 years. You hear all these stories, I think, or at least we love these stories and constantly come across these stories of these incredible human beings that we all appreciate and honor and, and admire. And they didn't necessarily have the easiest path to get to what they got to. And it was a series of fails or frustrations or things not happening. And, and it may have happened, happened for them. You know, what has happened to me? But they may have broken out, so to speak, 20 years into their career, 40 years into their career, or they didn't get started till they were 40. Mm -hmm. Or they didn't get started till they were, you know, Kowski, I think was like 55. Mm -hmm. So I think also there's this element of, if you really enjoy doing something and you really love doing something, you really want something, A, can you enjoy the process, which by the way, totally speaking to myself right now, and this is- yeah, uh, We're always actually talking to ourselves, yeah, but there's, there to happens you. to be a camera. I mean, you're and there so and we're talking there, to you, but at the end of the day- It's to ourselves. Yeah. It's to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And enjoy the process, be grateful for what is, and also grateful for what is coming. Um, and lately that's something that, I've been working with, which has been fascinating. Every night I'm going to sleep and just like going over things that I'm really grateful for. And then going over for things that I'm grateful for in the future. And that doesn't even necessarily mean like specific things or events or et cetera. It's more like the feeling of something. Mm -hmm. So I've been feeling very grateful for health or very grateful for success and mm -hmm. prosperity. And it's unbelievable the way in which like literally the next day or a few hours later, because then I'm also waking up and doing the same thing. Um, like, whoa, oh, oh, wow, thank you. So mm -hmm. that's happening. Oh my goodness, wow. Like totally unexpected, mm -hmm. out of the blue, like literally people knocking on our doors and being like, here, take this. And it's just like- It's great. Overwhelming and amazing. And I'm mm -hmm. not even kidding. Like literally yesterday we had three people come knock on our door people we know of course not like mm -hmm. hi stranger would you like to buy a vacuum yeah. cleaner but can i make that voice is that voice <laughs> okay only the joke is good no. <laughs> people we know that just came over and and gave us things or like we're receiving things in the mail you know and it's just like 
What? Thank you. Wow. Amazing. Like, it's great. beautiful. It, it's a great change uh, in without the organizer world that I was thinking that I would thrive at 25 and I was wrong in my prediction, walking through depression and addiction. I had a mindset then that I was just waiting for the next thing to happen and I was creating this idea that I had to be something at this point or at other point. Finally, I've been able to turn that situation and that way of thinking and now I'm able to enjoy every day more and just love what I have and what's coming and the more I do that, the better it gets. You know, so I'm, I'm forgetting more about the timing, except with the pregnancy, because we were like, yeah, come out, come out. But also with that, it's like, okay, let's enjoy these final days and, and this moment where we are just the two of us, and then there's gonna be a third one, and then who else, whatever else comes after, but enjoy what we have right now, because then you don't, and then you're like, oh, I remember when it was great, but it's always great as long as you enjoy yeah, you the greatness it, of it. You make it you great. Know. And you can yeah. you can see it in so many different ways. We were having this conversation this mm -hmm. morning. We had a, a breakfast meeting and we were having a conversation about you can wake up and you can be like, ugh, I'm alive. Or you can wake up and be like, I'm alive. You know, and, and from that point, how mm -hmm. do I create my day? How do I, where are my thoughts going? What am I focusing on? Because energy flows where attention goes. Mm -hmm. Einstein, you know, and it's science. That guy. The, yeah. Just that. Yeah. And it's true. And, and then again, taking it to like a larger level, if you keep doing something and creating something with the energy behind it, because this has been a really interesting uh, specificity or explanation of it that I think is important in this whole way of thinking. Uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza, who we love. I think we've spoken about him before, maybe not. Anyhow really fascinating, great information. But he talks about the fact that you can think every day and give yourself the mantras of, I am a X, Y, and Z. I am an X, Y, and Z. I am an X, Y, and Z. But if you're not feeling like an X, Y, and Z, but you're just saying that or thinking that, it, it doesn't do the job. It, yeah, it's, it may do a little bit of the job. There may be some kind of reflections of it back, but it's not gonna be you becoming the X, Y, and Z mm -hmm. because you're not completely aligned. And a lot of the times what we forget is that we are thinking, feeling, physical beings. And uh, mm -hmm. we forget about the feeling. Mm -hmm. feeling about and it's a, there's a thin line between delusion and you know just pretending that yeah. you're like you're feeling that. However, there's what was the thing that we saw that is like actions become habits and habits become your personality. Mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm totally destroying that uh, say. Mm -hmm. But uh, thoughts become yeah. Yeah, it's it's okay to force a little bit certain actions to stay happier, to stay more positive, because then that gonna become who you are if you keep going. You know. Well, and even what we were told in our birthing class, you know, one of the suggestions. Uh, or was it in the book that I'm reading? Anyway, basically the suggestion was even when you're going through like some of the intense experience, let's mm -hmm. call it, uh, can you smile? Because the brain, again, doesn't know the difference. And, and if not you're necessarily, smiling, ironically, or sarcastically, just smile. Well, but it, it, in, I think it's in They were the saying so? Mindful birthing. Oh, okay. She was talking don't about- me, Don't listen to me. No. She was talking about, the author was talking about, um, can you literally just curl the sides of your mouth up mm -hmm. even if you're going through the most intense moment because the brain then releases oxytocin and releases certain chemicals mm -hmm. because when you smile, the system is hardwired to think you're smiling. Even if you're not necessarily even feeling it, it's that same concept of like fake it till you make it, mm -hmm. which I don't necessarily condone. I, but, do, I don't, but I've had- But there's a yeah. component of like, behaving as if it already happened mm -hmm. or behaving as if it is happening mm -hmm. because then you're acting the part and then there's no other way again mm -hmm. in the science and the laws of the universe that everything is to happen. Yeah. But ex uh, what we want to say also main point of the timing is just be with it. Be where you are. It let is what it, it is. Yeah, let it happen as it has to and of course put your work behind, you know, things don't just happen. Right. You know, unless you do an effort. It's a combination of like yeah. doing and being and, and, and staying and in that energy. Don't lose your patience, you know, just have a lot of patience and things might presence. happen, you know, be present. Presence. Yeah, presence. Be very present. You know? Because um, we are all hardwired at this point for everything to happen yesterday. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have parents that are like that, very much so. 
They probably had parents that were like that, and yeah, their parents, parents were like that. that. Yeah. But especially considering the fact that we have everything at our fingertips, you know, like you click on Amazon and some a book can be here tomorrow, or hmm. anything can be here literally within a day. So we've become so accustomed to immediate gratification, and then therefore there's this void when we yeah. don't receive it. But the the truth of the matter is, it's not the way it works. Mm -hmm. Life's a journey, not a destination. And it's great when it happens, but it's also Smith. great when it doesn't. You know, just how can you just enjoy right. every single moment with what you have? You know. I think Jason Mraz says uh, in one of his songs, like, "You win some, you learn some." You know, so it's not that you're losing anything because there's always something to be learned or gained mm -hmm. from whatever experience you're yeah. having, even if it's not necessarily the one that you thought that you'd have or the one that you want. Yeah, everything that is happening now could only happen the way it's happening. Like I was not ready to be who I am now before. I wasn't ready to have a relation like what I have with you before. I wasn't ready to enjoy like I enjoyed before because I had to go through so many different things, experiences, positive and negative, lose people, gain others, until you're in a place where you can enjoy it. You know, it's not easy. Luckily for me it happened, but I think it's possible for everyone because it happened to me, you know? So it's just a matter of like, Okay, whatever happens, even if it's negative, take the positive out of it and it's going to help you to grow and to become stronger. You know, don't just don't give up. That's mm -hmm. that's what I keep telling myself. We keep telling ourselves just take everything that happens and use it and enjoy it. And then the really mm -hmm. to add on to that, and then the really fascinating thing is then like not to say that there aren't hardships or things that happen that are like, "Oh, Damn, I wish that wouldn't have happened. But for the most part, like once you get into that flow and that rhythm of enjoying, even mm -hmm. when it's not the most awesome experience, then for the most part, it's like awesome experience. It's great, you know, when I think about the terrible shit that I've done in my life in the past, and it's like, okay, it was necessary in order to have the perspective that I have today, you know, mm -hmm. and I love being myself because it comes with you in the pack, no? in the package, no. But it's every single mad action that I had in the past, it was necessary. And luckily I made it through and I don't have to regret anything, Yeah. you know, but just. And there's also something to say also for even when the outside world or the things in your life that are happening, for lack of a better word, suck, that you still have the ability to change the inside. Well, and that's also the project that we are, still working on right now that again as far as timing like we thought it was gonna be done by september uh it's the end of again, the we're creative expectations <laughs> you know and we're again. just coming to the end of it mm -hmm. which is great because we're very happy with the piece and it needed that time from us but we were working 15 hour days every single day you know we don't really see a monday through friday situation kind of jam we just kind of flow Go with the, the day and and so much of I think the the lesson and, and the message in that piece is also like, you know, we have the power, it's in our hands, that's, that's us, us, it's yeah. you. You can, and, and do you love yourself and do you love your experience even when there may be like legitimate, horrible situations, chaos, crazy, negative environment around you, mm -hmm. you know, can you come back to one, one being yourself mm -hmm. and and move from there and make the choice for yourself. Like, you know what? I am gonna be kind and I'm gonna be loving. And I'm going to, even if it means like closing your eyes and going and sitting by yourself, like mm -hmm. you can change yourself and therefore then the outside world also mm -hmm. starts to change as well. Promise. Because things happen when they have to happen and there's no nice. other way to make it happen. Yeah, you want to say some stuff in Spanish? Only if you speak in Spanish, otherwise... Okay, por supuesto. Por supuesto. Es difícil... Para este, sumorar. Es, es difícil resumir todo lo que... What, what was that? <laughs> sumorar? That's great. <laughs> es difícil en este momento explicar todo lo que hablábamos, pero es solo que cada cosa tiene su tiempo y no hay que forzar demasiado la máquina porque al final va a pasar cuando tenga que pasar, sí tiene que pasar. Y, y disfrutamos, intentamos disfrutar de cada momento y no poner muchas expectativas porque entonces cuando no suceden llega la frustración. Sí, y también tiene la expectación que puede uh, 
hacerlo uh -huh. uh, eventualmente, pero no la, el exacto uh, expectación uh -huh. que necesito uh, hacer ahora uh -huh. o necesito hacer en esa manera porque entonces es, hay frustración. Entonces, pero es, la... es un uh -huh. interesante uh, dicotomía. Uh, dicotomía. How do Dicotomía, ahora no, creo que he perdido mi castellano. Lo siento, lo siento. Back to English. No, no. Es una dicotomía, sí, creo que sí. Lo que no sé si se utiliza mucho en castellano, pero sí, es dicotomía. Dicotomía. Uh -huh. Que no, no, no tendrá las expectaciones, pero al, al mismo tiempo tendrá uh, el sentimiento, uh -huh. la energía uh -huh. de, y el knowing. El, el conocimiento. Conocimiento de no que, <risa> que va a hacer, va a ser. Uh -huh. uh, entonces, yeah. y, y también disfrutar la procesa. El proceso, sí. Eso el es proceso. lo más importante de, del divine time, del tiempo divino. Tiene que simplemente disfrutar cada momento porque puede pasar o no, pero mientras disfrutes durante, entonces da igual que pase o que no pase porque estás disfrutando continuamente. Meaning, it doesn't matter if it ends up happening, you know, like if you're an artist or any kind of profession that you're just working mm -hmm. hard, hard, and then you feel like nothing ever gets to fruition. Mm -hmm. But as long as you're enjoying the process, it doesn't really matter if it ever goes to anywhere because then you enjoy the, the path and then it's over and you enjoy it, you know. So point being, just enjoy however you can and como puedas and, and just find the right people to be surrounded and, and love it, you know. Because otherwise it's going to be a long journey you know? <laughs> of uh, suffering. Well, and um, on that note, I mean, we can mm -hmm. all talk about like the whole idea of like time being malleable. El tiempo... Uh, es, Male maleable? Maleable. Uh -huh, creo que sí. El tiempo maleable, porque a veces nosotros, toda la gente sabe. Cuando estás con sus amigos o familia y es un buen tiempo, buen tiempo. Y pasas un buen tiempo. Pasas un buen tiempo. Uh, siente como 30 minutos y es 4 horas. O. The other way around, the, 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 yeah. El otro. O, o viceversa. Yeah. Viceversa. Yeah. Es horrible. <risa> es horrible. Yeah. Es horrible. Y siente como 2 horas y es 20 minutos. Yeah. Entonces es. In other words, like when you feel great, it could be, it feels like 30 minutes and several hours have gone by and on the opposite spectrum. Yeah. Ideally, life should feel like a second and then you're gone because that means that you really enjoyed it. Unless it was a second, then. Speaking of which, <laughs> I wonder how long we've been talking. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. Hit see? the mark. We love you. See you. No, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. We just like to share in philosophy art and think about what we care about and, and how to not freak out or, or lose our patience because time is not happening as you want which is a creation because it's happening as we and want. And like an Everything egoic need for control yeah. also not to mention which we can talk about next time. Probably. But yeah, we're just enjoying what's happening right now. We can't wait, although we have to, and we will, <laughs> until a little, little babe is with us. But until then, we're just going to keep talking to, this, to the air and see. Yeah, so any questions you have, please let us know. Mm. Uh, we'd love to hear about your timing and your experience, good, bad, and different. If you want Brian to sing, you can always ask for it. If you want me to rap, well... I don't know, but we maybe no. We can we can also we can also do it in relation to the theme. So like today's timing, like time after time. And I'll do a freestyle, but in español porque no se hace de otra forma. And with that, thank you so much for thank your you attention. Thank you so much. Yes, we appreciate you tuning in. And we are Brigel. We are W E A R E B R I. G U E L. You can find us at Brigel.com. Brian Miguel. Brian, not Miguel. Therefore, it's easy to say Brigel. Yes. Brigel. And, Brigel. and all of our music Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, iTunes, every, pretty much everywhere. Mm -hmm. Brigel. B R I G U E L. In we'll the catch house. you on the flip side, ladies and gents. Have a beautiful, beautiful moment. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.